Ryan Thomas of the East West here, and welcome to the official walkthrough for Hollywood Strings 2. Now, this library was produced by Doug Rogers and Nick Phoenix, who also produced Hollywood Choirs, Hollywood Orchestra Opus Edition, and Hollywood Fantasy Orchestra, all of which won the Namtech Award for Best Musical Instrument Software. And to record the library, we brought back legendary recording and mix engineer Sean Murphy whose credits include the Star Wars, Harry Potter, Indiana Jones, and Hunger Games franchises, Jurassic Park and the Lost World, Schindler's List, Saving Private Ryan, Mission Impossible, Apollo 13, and Titanic. Now, if Hollywood Strings 1 is lush, big, and epic, then Hollywood Strings 2 is intimate, ultra-detailed, and focused. So this time around, we used the iconic Studio 2, so you get a bit more of an intimate sound, and we captured every section with six different mic positions, including one mounted directly to each instrument, so you just get an insane amount of control over the sonic profile of these strings. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, one of the groundbreaking, defining features of this library is just the sheer number of mic positions. There are six different positions that just allow you to really shape and sculpt the sound to whatever you want it to be. So let's hear all of the close mics together first. All right, now let's hear the mid, main, and surround mic positions. Now, I really like the default mic mix that loads when you first pull up an instrument. It's just the main mics and the close section mics both mixed in at 100%. Now, just like with all Hollywood series instruments, Hollywood Strings 2 features moods, which are basically going to affect things like the mic mix, dynamic response curves, and a few other variables. So here are the violins in the soft mood. And then here is the epic mood. Now, with most of the sustains, CC1 controls vibrato. And CC11 controls dynamics. All right, so now let's go ahead and explore the first violins a little bit more. We've already heard the legato. So these are the flautandos. These are the harmonics. And these tremolos are gonna be great for creating tension. You've got these very dramatic detaches. Now, the shorts in this library are incredible. They're super precise and tight. So these are the spiccatos. These are gonna be the shortest of the short articulations. And then these are the staccatos. These are gonna be a little bit more relaxed. And these are the staccato runs, which are gonna be even longer. And then marcato, which is gonna be the longest. Now, Hollywood Strings 2 also features runs articulations. 
So for this example, I went ahead and just combined all the strings together. And these are the playable runs. Now you've also got staccato runs both up and down, and these are just gonna give you a little bit more definition in those note transitions. So those are the staccato runs down, and I should point out that I'm using the regular staccato articulation in the basses here, and these are the staccato runs up. Okay, now let's take a look at the second violins. And these were recorded as an even smaller section than the first violins, so you do get a slightly more focused, detailed sound. Here are the legatos. And here are the spiccatos. These are the staccatos. And then here are the staccato runs. And then the marcatos. Next, let's check out the pizzicatos, and these have this really beautiful light quality to them. These are the flautandos. Next, let's explore the violas. And these have this super dark, rich, sonorous quality to them, but they also have a little bit of that bite that you get from working with those smaller sections, and it's super ear-pleasing. So here is the legato. Here's the flautando. And the viola shorts have this really cool edge to the sound. These are the spiccatos. These are the staccatos. These are the staccato runs. These are the marcatos. And then the pizzicato. All right, so now let's switch it up a little bit and see how these can be used in context. So the scene that you're about to see was scored entirely with Hollywood strings too. So let's give it a watch and then we'll break it down.
right, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. And we're starting this piece off in the viola harmonics. Then you've got the celli coming in on this descending line. And you've got some more viola harmonics coming in here, along with these flautandos to kind of give you these very light, subtle chord swells. And you do have a very subtle melodic line in the legato violas. And the nice thing about having these smaller section sizes is that you can have all these different parts and it's not gonna sound too cluttered. So here's everything together. Now this next section is gonna start off in the low strings. So you've got the basses, the celli, and the viola flautandos starting this phrase off. And the melody is gonna be carried in this cello track here, the legato celli. And then about halfway through this phrase, we're gonna add some second violins to start giving us some content in those higher voices. And then at measure 12, we're adding this moving line in the violas, as well as some viola harmonics to just kind of add a little bit more texture here. So here is everything together. Okay, so in this last phrase, we actually have something of a theme coming in, and that's being carried in the first and second violins, as well as the violas in a third octave, and that is pretty unusual to do, but it created a kind of unsettling effect, and I wanted that in this section. And then we're pretty much using legato articulations for everything else except for these celli flautando. So let's go ahead and give it a listen. So we just heard a lot of the celli, but let's continue exploring those with the legato. And the legatos are just super buttery and very lifelike. Now the bow change legato is just gonna give you slightly snappier legato transitions. So these are gonna be great for those faster legato passages. Now the shorts are super punchy, really ideal for those gritty ostinato lines. These are the spiccatos. These are the staccatos, a little bit more relaxed. And the staccato runs. And the pizzicatos are just absolutely perfect. They don't have that dead plunky sound that a lot of these smaller ensemble pizzicatos give you. These just have so much color and life. And I love the tremolos, they're super raw and gritty. All 
All right, next, let's explore the basses, and we'll start with the legato. Now, one of the coolest articulations in the library is the bass harmonics, which you don't tend to see very often. And these just have this really austere quality to them. They sound very modern to me. Now the shorts are super chunky. These are the spiccatos. These are the staccatos. And these are the marcados. Now the pizzicatos just give you that perfect balance between warm and punchy. These are the Bartok pizzicatos. And these are the Collegnos. Now Hollywood Strings 2 also features full strings patches that are mapped to the respective ranges of the instruments. So for example, if I play up here, you're just gonna hear the violins. And if I play down here, you're only gonna hear the celli. So here is more of the flautandos. Now the regular sustains are also great for sketching. And the shorts are also super inspiring. So again, these patches are just super inspiring and very easy to write with. So next, let's check out another example of Hollywood Strings 2 in context. This scene is a very different vibe than the previous one, so hopefully you can start to get a good idea of just the incredible versatility of this library. So let's watch it and then we'll break it down. So this piece opens up with a lot of flautando and just these very delicate textures. A little bit later on, you have some harmonics coming in in the violas as well as the celli and these very closed chord voicings. And in general, this first part is just very textural. You even have some bass pizzicatos. And you do also have a few legato 
phrases here and there. So let's go ahead and give this a listen, and I'll try to highlight the parts that are sort of playing the largest role in that particular phrase. So again, lots of very delicate, intimate textures, which is really what this library excels at. Now, this next phrase is mostly being driven by the legato strings. You have something of a melody coming in in the first and second violins. Now, this last phrase is going to feature the legato violas, and they just sound absolutely incredible in this context. So you have the flautando violins, violas, and celli, along with some pizzicato celli and basses accompanying the melody line in the violas here. So let's go ahead and give it a listen. So that's Hollywood Strings 2. Obviously, you've got a beautiful, intimate chamber string orchestra vibe here, but these can really do so much more than that. They're so incredibly emotional, and best of all, they're very easy to work with. So I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. If you did, don't forget to drop a comment on the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.